I think we're both tired of talking about dropping out to people. Gets to the point where it's the same as that conversation oh, yeah. where it's like, oh yeah, I was going to school, wasn't hard, but I didn't like it, and I see values I dropped out. Oh, she just finished it. I mean, it's like, okay, cool, like, I've had this conversation with, like, the internet already, and I already had my parents and, like, 100 friends. I'm past that. Like, that's not, that's in the past. Let's talk about the future and the present, right? And so right now I'm at a point where, like, personally, yeah. where, like, I have clients now. Like, I have a whole calendar full of people I have to, like, do calls and stuff with that I'm making money off of. And it's cool because like, oh, wow, I literally took the books I've read and the skills I learned and now I'm making money off it, like, on my own. Cool. That This is how, like, entrepreneurship works, right? Not entrepreneurship, I don't think it has to be, uh... I guess I, I feel like people are getting too caught up in the idea, like, how you said, funding, right? Like, oh, you should drop out if you're going to be the next Facebook and have, like, a million dollars in and you're a good coder. It's like, well, no. Yeah. Let's take, like, sure. here's, like, the 1% of the dropouts that are doing that, and here's, like, the rest of the world the dropouts. Like, some people, like, won't make it big until they're 30. Some won't make it big at all, and some already made it big, like, now. And so... Right. You know what? Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Before I let you continue, you know what the funny part is? I posted this thing, uh, my article uh, on Facebook, and why I dropped out and all that, and people were like, hey, you didn't start Facebook, shut up. Yeah. And... People think like, people have this misconception that you have to start Facebook to drop out, or you have to have something you want to start with. It's more about understanding where you stand and what do you want to do, and taking that control, um, which a lot of people do miss out on. And like you pointed out, like we're tired of talking about the same thing, right? Hey, I did this. Yeah, I didn't like education the way that it was set up, blah blah blah. But I think the hardest part is the phase after you did that, like, that big step of your life. Yeah. Because it's easy to drop out, right? You still go to college, but now what? Now you're now you're here. You have no degree. Uh, some people they start off with no experience, so it's like I uh, have to start from the bottom. Phase is very hard, and yeah, uh, it could be challenging to a lot of people as well. Oh yeah, I mean like like I tell people all the time like people are like oh you make it sound like it's so easy and anyone can do it. like well I I never say it's easy like I just say like this is the reality like. Like, before I dropped out, it's not like I was mentally prepared, like, okay, I gotta get ready to be, like, to work hard. It's like, no, I'm gonna have to work hard because that's what you do if you wanna be successful. It doesn't matter if you have a degree or not. Like, if you wanna be big in something, you have to work hard for it. And that's just how it is. That takes, like, five years? Sure. Like, I, I don't know why I, I should convince someone or try to, like, like, instill a drive in, like, you have to work hard to be somewhere. Like, I don't know why I should be a conversation. And so, like, pretty much, yeah, like, dropped out, like, it's kind of like a game in a way, right? Like, you're in a way starting from at the bottom. And it's like, cool, so I'm at, I'm at, like, literally the floor, and I want to get all this space. Here's my journey. So, like, that's going to take the hard work and the rejection and the constant learning. And But eventually you'll move on up, right? Like, you'll slowly see the ground, like, wow, I literally start from the ground, here I am. What's up? Fuck with uh, me. Like, yeah. I think uh, what it comes down to is uh, it's, it's about being resourceful. Because... Uh, a lot of us don't have the resources, right? Like, we don't have the money to start this big company. Yeah. But what we have to do is we have to kind of be scrappy and be resourceful with what we have. So we, may, uh, so that means, okay, this is not working. Let me just uh, find people, people that can help me in reaching out and doing all of that. So I think at this phase, for me at least, it's about being resourceful and just making the best out of what I know and who I know and kind of grabbing that ladder and taking that next step. Yeah. So how are you trying, what's, not your goals, but like, how, how have you been doing that hustling, work hard mentality? What have you done this year? Honestly, uh, ever since I made this big decision to do so, uh, I've had people that were encouraging me, people that discouraged me, and that's all good. Like, that's part of it. Um, but my main goal was to really work on the education because I was passionate about learning. Uh, so I'm building this uh, educational platform and right now it's pretty slow, right? There's things are happening and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm learning so much uh, from my business partner, from my developer and all of that. And I'm learning things on the side. So there's extra hustle. You're not just focusing on one thing. Now you have to make money on the side. So you have to learn more stuff from other people. So I think it's trying to keep that balance, which I'm having a hard time with. And that's okay. Yeah. Uh, because when I can, when when I really understand what do I want to do with this platform and how I'm going to take it to the next level, uh, I can start like, focusing solely on this and not focus on grinding too hard to work on this skill. Yeah. 
How about yourself? Me? You had this journey. You started this six months before I did. Yeah, mine's been like the fun, like, idea of the roller coaster, right? Um, so when I dropped out, pretty much, I moved in with a friend of mine and was li literally living on my buddy's floor. Like, my buddies were renting a room in an apartment. I slept on their floor and then I was working at a restaurant as a host. And then waiting, like, I was in contact to get a job at a, or an internship at a, like, furniture dealership. And, um, like, a month was going by, like, hey, like, so... I did my interview and everything, my game's like, yeah, you're in, we're doing all paperwork, sorry, it's gonna take a little bit of time, like, I was like, at a point, like, okay, it's been like three weeks now, um, should I keep waiting up for this job, or should I just move on? But I didn't want to move on, because, like, no, I really want to do this. Eventually, I got it, right? It was cool. I was helping do, like, little, like, lookbooks and InDesign for, like, for their clients, and so that took about four months, and I, like, was went from 15 hours to 20 to 30 to getting more responsibility, I'm like, oh, cool, like, I'm moving on up. And then at one point, like, hey, sorry, the company's going a different direction. We get rid of internships. We're going to have to let you go. And it's like, well, cool. Now I guess I'm going to focus on the restaurant. Cause I was doing two jobs at the time, right? The internship and then the restaurant. And now it's solely on the restaurant. And I got to the point where, like, wow, I think I'm trying too hard to be this, like, what's the word? Like, successful billionaire dropout for 30 under 30, like, immediately. Because in a way, like, there was something to prove, right? Like, no, I trust me, guys. Like, I know what I'm doing. Listen to me. But then I went from, like, doing all stuff in school to living on the floor and working at a restaurant without a degree. It's like, okay, I, I know what I'm doing. So I'm okay with it. But on paper, this looks really bad. And so I got to the point where I was like, you know what? Why am I concerned about what other people care? Like, at the end of the day, none of that mattered. Whatever. I'm just going to focus on the restaurant for a year, save up money, and then I'll get back to my career. And within, like, five months, working at this restaurant, like, hey, you actually want to help us do marketing now. Like, oh, hell yeah, I want to help you do marketing now. So in a way, I got, like, promoted. And so it was cool, right, to, like, go to, like, this corporate internship thinking I had it, to gain, let go, to, like, being, like, pretty much broke, living on the floor, and then slowly, like, proving myself and being, like, promoted to marketing. And it's like, cool, this is something that people with degrees can only get, and here I am doing it. Sick. Uh -huh. You know? And then... And, and, I, just, and I think, uh, I think we're lucky to be this young because we can take that risk now, right? We can take this uh, very bad job that doesn't look good on our resume on the paper. Yeah. But we can take that risk right now and not have many obligations. Not You don't have a family. I don't have a family. Yeah. So we can take that risk. Yeah. So when you're 28, 30, when you have a family to take care of, things get really hard. Oh, yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, the idea of even... So I guess going back to that, I, I can't help but not talk about dropping out. Um... It wasn't dropping out for the sake of taking risk. It was, I don't, I'm barely, I can't really afford school. I don't want to take out loans because I don't believe in this. I just don't want to pay for it. Like, it's that simple. It's not like, oh, be, do this sexy risk sounding dropout for the sake <laughs> of saying I was a dropout. It's like, no, like, right. literally I was paying, like, you, I think you're paying to go to college, right? Like, I was paying to go here to do this very rudimentary like trivial stuff to prove to some people I don't know that I could finish something in the hopes that someone will hire me and pay me more money and it's like yeah no I don't believe in that I, I'm not going to support this like I'm not going to take down the system like there's no way I'm going to take down this college on my own right now but it's like cool oh yeah I'm confident in my skills to get to this point I don't feel like I need to drop and take out a loan to pay for this to get to that point I'm just going to cut out the middleman and go do it myself. Like, that was literally my thinking. And it's like, exactly. some people, it's like, oh, well, you're so close to finish. Like, sure, that's still money I didn't have and loans I didn't want to take out. Right? I could have done it. I like, it's... with, like, practicals made just right. Like, like, business. You could actually do something, right? You can start your own company. And you get that real, like, real-time experience. Yeah. Well, with programming, you can create your own stuff. Yeah. With design, you can do that, right? So, I think for specific majors... The way that our education system is set up, it's not it's not set set up for for them to succeed. It's more of like a way for them to just make money off you. So you're like a stream of income. Like I said, like I like I talked about all the time, like you go to school to learn, right? You you go to learn to do something. So if you're going for that idea, like finding yourself and growing, cool. Then you should be going to like if you're like a nerd type character, go to those frat parties and get fucked up. If you're a frat type of character, cool, you should do speech and debate and, like, try something that's not your, like, crowd whatsoever. 
like, oh, you know what? You should go on, like, streaking across campus, like, at midnight because, fuck it, why not? Like, take these risks and grow as a person and try new things. But if you go to college and your thing is, oh, I'm going to try and get in and get out. I don't really want to get distracted. It's like, no, college is meant to go be distracted in that world to college. But the idea if you're in a commuter school where you go do your classes and just go home, you're not growing. Like, that's the idea you're working the system, right? Like, I'm here to get this degree, so I'm going to do X and Y, and that's it, the bare minimum, to get that degree. I don't have to actually learn my subject. I'm just here to get the degree. So I can say I have this piece of paper. No one can take it away from me, and I proved I can finish something. But, like, that paper means nothing, so who cares if no one takes it away from me? Like, the course, like, no one cares. It's a piece of paper. And the idea you can finish something, it's like, cool, while you were sitting in, like, this class, not really reading the textbook, not really raising your hand, to prove you could finish that? Like, you have people like me that are out here, like, reading the actual, like, reading, like, three books a day, trying to figure out how can I make more money, how can I, like, growth hack, how can I do this, because that's what you should be learning, you know? Like, I, I think there's a lot of magic in college. Like, I don't like shooting down... I don't paint... Edu I don't like painting education as, like, this, like, evil monster. But what I'm... What I like to say is, if you're here to get a job, you're in the wrong place. This is not a trade school, right? If you're here to go coding, you should probably go to Code Academy, right? Or a coding boot camp. Not take, like, 10 coding classes and, like, 30 other, like, wine tasting, ice skating, and, like, Sociology 101. Sure, that stuff might be helpful. You could just buy a book and read that on your own. You can watch Vice videos and understand that, right? Like, you're here for a skill, so you should just learn the skill. You know? And I think people, the idea of... And the natural idea of risk comes in, right? That means, oh, well... If I do that, that means I have to teach myself and I become responsible for my education and responsible for my actions. It's like, yes, you are. But if you go to school, it's like, you know what? School's fucked up. I have my degree, though, so I'm, I'm credible now. It's like, you're not credible. You literally paid for a piece of paper. Like, and like, that's the rat, like the, the, I feel is the reality of it. But like, no one's going to question that, right? When you have 30 other thousand students that are going to do it and then you have like the five radical dropouts like us. Who, who are you going to listen to, right? Like, it's not worth standing by your principles to risk not getting promoted at your job 10 years from now where you don't even know you're going to be working. I ranted sure, a lot. Go for it. Take over this. Yeah. Um, like, you finished something and the whole big deal with that. I had the chance to talk to a senior developer at Google. Yeah. Because uh, he was a job on himself. And I'm like, yo, so, like, I'm thinking of doing this. What should I do? And he's like, well... A degree just shows that you're committed to finish something, right? Whatever that means. Uh, but he said that you could show that through something else, whether it's your own company, whether it's your personal brand, whether it's helping other businesses, showing your commitment and actually making an impact in the community. And that's much more better than sitting in a class and doing your test and getting a degree. Yeah. Because that doesn't really show anything. Like I said, you could get C's and get that piece of paper just, just to show that you're credible and a few of my friends have done that yeah and after they graduated they've had hard times finding a job because of the degree yeah but now their skill set isn't developed because they didn't focus on developing their skill set they just focused on getting that piece of paper that showed the credibility and i know so many other friends of mine that are like first year or second year into college that barely go to their classes but they're actually so much better at coding and that's because they've invested that much time into their personal uh, skills and yeah and so i think a piece of paper doesn't really define anything the point of college is to explore and learn but the ironic part is that it doesn't allow you to do that because you're forced to take these you're forced to do these rigid assignments like do this write this five piece piece of paper blah 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 and as soon as you like start to do something creative outside of the box you get points marked off because that wasn't part of the assignment uh, and that makes people that that makes people don't want to take that extra risk, yeah. take that extra step to think creatively, because they're being punished instead of being encouraged to do so. So the entire system is messed up. But a piece of paper, I don't think it shows anything, yeah. unless it's like psychology or like doctor or biology. Where, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of different from more practical majors like CS and marketing and design. Yeah. Well, it's like um, like I remember, not, I guess I want a friend. Well, I had a PR. I had a lot of friends that are in PR. And one was saying, oh, I really like this class. I recommend it. Like, I learned about like, content calendars and content creation, like, what it means to do content. And, like, as she tell, like, I learned all that, like, in a week in my internship. Like, that was the first thing we were taught, like, hey, content calendars. <laughs> and, like, it's like, like, 
I'm not shooting on education, but it's the idea of, like, I believe that, like, the idea of, like, focus, right? Like, it's one thing I really, like, learned and try to, like, master now. It's, if you go to school you sh and you're trying to learn something, like, hardcore, you should probably be going every single day to, like, focus on that. Not twice a week, either Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday, for an hour to do that. Like, there's, there are people that are actively doing this, and the, and the idea of tech and social media has changed so much that you really need to be on this. And if it's like, oh, I'm going to like kind of like come for two hours out of the entire week to learn this, there's so much going on, you're not going to be focused and you're going to be distracted on that, right? And so it, it makes no sense, right? Like I went to one of my internships, and this is like, yeah, and you learn the reality of it. Um, one internship, like I had a boss that was straight like always busy, and he told me like, hey, if you want to learn how to like do any of this, go, you, go take a class. Like I'm, I'm not teaching you. I was like, that's motherfucker. But they made me really like, oh, wow, like, internships are, like, you go to be, like, this, gr like, little ground grunt assistant, and you will eventually, once you're able to prove you got that you could do it, then you could actually, you know, oh, let me see if this is still recording. I just got a call. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> All right, everyone, we're going on a little rant, so we're going to do here today. Um... Subscribe and you'll hear more of me and Keisha a little more. We'll be doing a little more stuff with Damien and a couple other big guys. So yeah, subscribe. We'll talk to you guys later. I'll see y'all later. I'd see y'all.